morning! Hello, welcome to a brand new Walt Disney World vlog series. I'm going to Disney World. Shocker. I know. Um, I'm going for a week. I'm going with my best friend, Gary. If you haven't met him before, you obviously haven't been on my channel. If you haven't met me before, hello, I'm Adam. Subscribe below, like this video, you know, all that fun stuff. Um, I am currently at Block Hotel, which has a panoramic view of the runway at Gatwick, and looks like this. Ooh, ooh, yes, yes, modernization, yes. Um, everything in the room is controlled by this iPad, which is really cool, so I can like turn the lights on and off and stuff. Ooh, fun. Um, I should probably turn those on because I'm talking to you. Um, Gary's waiting downstairs. I'm all packed. I'm ready. I'm excited. Let's go to Disney World. Yee. So hi, welcome to Adam's Lookbook. Today I'm wearing a Jack Wills jumper, jeans from Homester, my Nike Air shoes that I don't know what they're really called, but they're really nice. And hair by Adam. So I told Gary that I would be him at the bottom of the lifts. He's not at the bottom of the lifts. Um, however, I am outside Norwegian check-in, and I'm waiting for him, and hopefully he should be here in a minute, and we will check in for our flight. Mm. Morning, available now. <laughs> not planned. <laughs> Hello, how are you? We're all checked in. La la la. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, we are going to departures now. We've also got fast track security, because I've booked the number one lounge. If you don't know what that is, you'll see very shortly. It's like a lounge that you I need to go down the escalator. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been content. <laughs> uh, so we get to use the fast track premium security, which is nice. Uh, and then we get uh, an, a selection of food and drink in a private lounge. Oh, I didn't know there'd be treats. All the treats. All the treats. All the treats. Hello and welcome to Gary C's Flying Tips. <laughs> <laughs> oh Christ, I should probably put my camera away, we're in security. What do you think of premium security, Gary? Premium security is the sort of style I can get used to. <laughs> if you are running late for a flight, I think that'll be worth the money, because we got through in what? Four minutes? Although, comedy value, we saw a guy running for his flight, he got stopped and searched. The evil, the evil villain inside Gary C. <laughs> we're now at World Duty Free, we're gonna potter through, and then we're gonna pop to our lounge. Ooh. Ooh. So something I'm doing this time is I'm actually going to buy chocolate for the air... What do you call them? Cabin crew? Cabin crew. Cabin crew. Um, my friend's cabin crew and I recently found out how hard cabin crew have to work. So I'm just like, I'm just going to treat them. Just going to treat them. Change of plan. We're not getting it in the duty free because it's obscenely expensive. <laughs> a bag as like, what, eight pounds? For a box for, like, for like a bag of celebration. So I'm like, girl, who's got the coin? Not me. Oh. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cu we're currently in uh, Derek Smith buying some chocolate and bits and bobs. A lot cheaper in here than it is in the world. <laughs> you got me with a dilemma. More salt and vinegar or more salt and vinegar? <laughs> uh, so I'm deciding what packet of crisps I would like on the flight. Uh... <laughs> decisions, decisions. I want to go for classic walkers, you know. So if you so choose to use the number one lounge, uh, you just go over here. Additionally, uh, I actually have a voucher code you can use, and I'll drop that below. So you can go and get £7.50 off, I think. What? Well, can I get money off? We have a, I've, I've booked this already, so... Oh, alright, alright. Next time, sure. <laughs> Small disclaimer, I'm not actually sponsored by Number One Lounge, I just like them and I just thought I'd share their code, okay? Number One Lounge, Club room. What do you say? This is more like it. <laughs> get accustomed to this scale. <laughs> la la. Ooh, pastries. <laughs> but just, yeah. <laughs> We've got a little bag to steal the pastries as well. <laughs> We've got a nice little yeah. panoramic view of the runway. You happy? And you know it cut them eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and here we see the Gary C in his natural habitat wearing. I don't have a croissant in my hand. Am I really Gary C? No. Conspiracy theory, get handles <laughs> on it, girls. <laughs> so they've got a selection of magazines you can take with you on the flight. They've also got pastries, tea, coffee, and orange juices, apple juices, and Fantas. Well, Fantas, sodas. So included in number one now is a selection of food. I've gone for beans and toast and a bacon roll. Gary's got Nutella on toast. Not fun. <laughs> Oh god, real life is the worst. <laughs> but like, you consider it to like sitting here for an hour and sitting in there for an hour. Yeah. We're snobs! 
and what? We're currently on our way to the gate. It is gorgeously disgusting outside, which makes going to Florida all the more valuable. La la, la la. Gary is vlogging the trip, so hey. If you want to go and check out the vlog. Kiss. Kiss my face. <laughs> I have no idea who this but man is. with consent. Is. <laughs> One thing I don't like about travel is when you come off them, you feel a bit wobbly. Oh, the plane, she flies. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. We're currently sat on the floor. <laughs> Gary's just like, remember when we were in that beautiful number one lounge and now we're sat on the floor? Floor dwellers. <laughs> Do you want to know my least favorite travelers? The people that huddle at the gate. Question. Tell what? me what you think about me. <laughs> We're going on a trip in a magic rocket ship. It's not a rocket ship though, it's a plane. Is it? <laughs> We're in our seats and we're currently in the middle section instead of the sides because I was watching a girl's vlog I can't remember her name but I will link her below if I can find her um, and she said that you get more leg room in the middle section and I do believe that to be true because uh, enough space it's a lunch time aboard our flight this is the first time I've had lunch on a plane I'm normally having dinner what have we got? I'll show you the wares where the, we've got like a mango um, yogurt thing We've got a little salad. Salad. A little lemon juice. Juice, juice, juice. Knives and forks if you fancy eating them. <laughs> and then, chick, chick, KFC. No, it's not KFC. Ooh. Oh, that looks good. That does look good. It's like a chicken curry. Oh, it smells really nice. <laughs> We're currently enjoying our lunch. Chicken's wonderful. Gary seems to be enjoying it as well. It's amazing. It's so soft and succulent. And served at 30,000 30, feet in the air. Oh, not bad. We feel like a star. <laughs> I'm currently watching The Greatest Showman as well. We've got about five hours left of the flight. Uh, Gary is now doing editing work. I am currently watching a Strictly Come Dancing. And I just ordered a cheese and ham sandwich, which you can do from like, they have like a snack menu on here, so you can order food to your seat. So if you have a bowl of food, you can actually buy it on the plane. It's really good. And I just thought I would stop for a moment, but you know, I'm a bit rough tasty. Have the notification to say we're coming into land. All the lights have come on. Disney World. Uh, get me my deluxe burger at Disney Springs. We have landed in Florida. We are currently taxiing towards the gate. We just need to go and do like the fun security stuff. Pick up our luggage. I had a freak out moment. I was like, did I put my luggage on the plane? But then I thought, I don't do that. I'll see you shortly. We made it. This bag is so slow. Disney World. <laughs> I know my vlogs kind of look a little bit same old because it's like, oh, I can only start filming at a certain time and blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, you're subscribed, so. Well, you can't <laughs> film in security. No. And don't well, use your phone so if you, if you, to drag you away. Yeah, we had a woman in front of us using her phone and one behind us using her phone. And they said announcements like, please don't use your phone. So, pro tip, don't use your phone. This is a federal thing. Don't use your phone. How do you know when you're in Florida? The searing heat. That and you also hear Buddy Dyer's voice in the tram, and it makes me happy. This is a Lando Mayo Barbie dot Bub Buddy Buddy or Bubby Bobby Buddy Buddy Dyer. I don't know. Hello, this is Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer. Buddy, there Hooray. we go. Welcome you home. If you're one of our 72 million visitors. Welcome You're one in 72 million. Do you feel special? I feel unique. You may not know. Unique is the word. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Right, picture time. Oh, you want to go to the... The cliche wall. Oh no, not the cliche wall. I will be doing that as well. Every 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 man, woman, and child gets a picture in front of that wall. But this I'm just here, like I'm not. I'm not, I'm not that fast. We walk straight across the shop. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> da, 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 so I've got my magic band on uh, because I got it for my last time being here. So we just have to scan and then away we go. <laughs> Where are we staying? 
Oh, we can say now, all star sports. <laughs> And we're actually staying there this time, I haven't like... Yeah, last time we were, we were stooping in his place, he said all sorts of spots, he turned around and he switched out for me and I cried! <laughs> yeah, and I'm a, I'm a one take Tina, I'm not doing that again. Oh, mainly because mainly, mainly I can't afford it, but... We're not staying with the grand flow then? No. I have, nev I have never seen it this busy for the Magical Express. Exciting, loads of people to compete with for the rides! <laughs> <laughs> it's a busy time of year. We also chose well because there was two people helping this line and only one person helping the other two lines. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, she's here, girl! Magical Express it up! We're on a Magical Express coach. It also looks like a newly refurbished Magical Express coach. Brand new Magical Express. Ooh, it's brand new. It's got a new thing on the outside, which doesn't look much different than like the fonts change and stuff. New seats. It smells new. New aircon. Ooh, fancy. And HD TVs, possibly. Oh yeah. Disney spending that coin. Listen up kids, when you get on the Magical Express, put on your seatbelt. It's always important to put your seatbelt on when you're in a coach or in a car. Buckle up or fly through the windows. A bit dark, but all right. <laughs> it's the new terminal they're building at MCO. Hopefully one day we'll be flying in a little bit classier version. I don't know if that's going to be domestic or uh, lo uh, local. Domestic or international. Do you want to hear a fun fact? Go on then. So, Orlando International Airport was kind of built because of Disney, right? So, without Disney World being here and it being such a popular destination, they wouldn't have built Orlando International. Yeah. Uh, so, when they were building Orlando International, Disney stroke up a deal with Orlando International to say that they couldn't sell chewing gum. Well, because they were literally made Yeah, yeah. so, and like the mess it makes on the and everything. So, if you're at Orlando International Airport, you can't buy chewing gum. Good. We're in! Just. <laughs> Just. Yes. Just got, I was like, the sign! <laughs> Too busy talking about schemes. <laughs> oh look girl, they've rolled out the red carpet for us. Da -da -da, da -da -da. We're all checked in. Um, when I got here I also was like, just out of interest, because I love Pop Century, I was like, is Pop Century available? And they did have a look, uh, and they said, it's not available tonight, but we could move you in a few nights, and we were like, nah, not worth it. Um, but yeah, we're all checked in, we're heading to our room now. Team Green! That was very loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's not chilly, is it? It's, it's very toasty. <laughs> But nice toasty. Nice toasty. Once we're, we're in summer clothes, we'll be fine. We're in building seven where the American football pitches. Right, you do the honours. I'll do the honours. Bleep. Alice doing the honours. And the little beep beep. Oh! Oh, it's lovely and fresh in here. Oh, fresh. We're happy fresh. with this. Oh, lovely. And there's a little Mickey on the walls. Yep. <laughs> we made it! Amazing. And I mean, because we had an earlier flight than what I've normally taken, we got here in reasonable time. It's what time is it? it is... Let me have a look at my phone. Well, we it... did have quite a while chatting at the thing. Yes, that's true. We probably got to the resort about five o'clock, and it's now quarter to six. Um, so all in all, not that bad. I said that we'd get to the resort about six, didn't I? Yeah. So it's quite tough that we're like customs wasn't bad. Imagine if I said, no, he didn't, it's all for the vlog. It's all a lie! <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Jake Paul. Oh, typical. Oh, oh, um, <laughs> got your Team Ted, no. Click and uh, click. Click and click. Um, right, so we are just gonna like refresh up a little bit. Don't Maybe mind me just taking pictures of the <laughs> <laughs> This is behind the scenes. You've scene. still got your bag on. I know, I'm so excited, <laughs> I can't put it down. I can't put it down. Um, uh, we're gonna freshen up a little bit and then we're gonna head over to Disney Springs for some burgers. I'm so excited. Ah! Ow, that was my tooth. Oh, you just wiped yourself in the mouth. Did you film in that? Yeah. <laughs> Gary made a very good point. We haven't put What Disney World Today on. Here he comes. Yes. And, and the talk can continue. The songs are on. So we have... This put clothes on. 
Not be curtain for privacy. A little bit of Mickey there for all you Mickey 90 lovers out there. I really like that. You're just filming me doing the room tour so you don't have to. No, I really am. <laughs> I won't leave everything to Gary. I will actually show you the room. Uh, so we're doing this holiday on a budget. All Star Sports is a value resort. And let me just turn the TV down because it is a little bit loud. Um, it's definitely the cheapest, if not one of the cheapest places to stay. Um, you get kind of, at the moment, I think they're refurbishing All Stars. So depending on when you're watching this, this resort might have been refurbished. But they're very standard rooms. La la. Look, there's a mini fridge in there. Like It's all the stuff that you would need. Um, bathroom, la la la. I don't come to the room. <laughs> bathroom, I do really like this shower curtain. Brogan had this in her vlog, didn't she? My friend Brogan actually just recently stayed here, and if you want to check out her vlogs, I'll link her below, because she's a great Disney vlogger too. Um, we are just now ready to go to Disney Springs. We're going to Deluxe Burger, because... Because someone's been talking about it the whole flight here. I genuinely have no more excitement than Ooh. what I have for Deluxe Burger right now. He's got his ears ready. Oh no, no, no spoilers. Oh no, no spoilers. Yeah, tune in. Tune in next week. When staying at a Disney resort, the hotels are big. Really big. So when you are checking in for the first time, my advice is to take a picture of your room number so you never get lost. You hot? Ooh, she's back, girl. Summer's back. Also, I think if we go this way, we can actually just walk straight down. Yeah, there's a staircase in here. Ta-da! Balls. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end zone food court. Which is, seems to be undergoing some sort of construction right now, but... Renovation. Renovation. But food is always handy. So we've got some pretty decent options. We've got the hot things that you'd normally find a market, as well as pizzas, burgers. All the stuff you need, and I'm happy. Disney's All-Star Sports! First Disney transport of the holiday! So one thing I will mention about All-Star Sports, which is kind of the reason that I've not really stayed here. Uh, depending on the time of day, you have to take a bus that goes, that stops at all of the All-Stars, so all three. So we've been on the bus for 15, 20 minutes. And 20 we're, minutes. Yeah, and we're just leaving to go to Disney Springs from the All-Star area. So bear that in mind. Yes, it is cheaper. Yes, it is a, a great resort. It's a great value resort. However, there are some compromises. It's not like other resorts where you just go straight to where you want to go. We're just going past Coronado Springs, which is where we stayed last year. That's a new building they've built for the wow. convention space. That's really nice. Currently going past the new skyline as well. Ooh. When this opens, you'll be able to take a skyline from Epcot to Hollywood Studios to Art of Animation, Pop Century, and the new Riviera Resort. And <laughs> Hollywood, la 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 Hollywood. When I lived in Florida, Disney Springs was my favorite place to be. And it's probably where I've been most looking forward to going back. And obviously, Deluxe Burger. Um, so, we're heading in. Uh, I'm also gonna pop to guest relations at some point this evening, because I want to see if I can transfer my ticket into an annual pass. Okay, so, Deluxe Burger, here we are, and oh my, Gary, look, look at that line, is that, that's a long line, isn't it? Everybody knows the true tea. Everybody knows Get the true tea. Well, that's the interesting thing, is that everyone's in line, but if you use mobile order, you don't have to wait in line. If you don't know what mobile order is, uh, there's, it's on the My Disney Experience app, you can order your food online and then go pick it up from the pickup point. So don't wait in line when you don't have to. As I'm on holiday, I'm going full fat coat. Whee! Not only does Deluxe Burger have the best food in town, it also has the best theming in town and lots of sauces. <laughs> Some might say it's quite saucy. 
Deluxe Burger has become more popular than when I was last here because it's very busy. We've saved ourselves maybe a 20, 30 minute wait in line. At least. Um, we've got our sources, but they seem to be very busy tonight. So, after this, Adam will be happy. And we're probably going to Uber back to the resort because I'm not spending another 40 minutes on a bus. Oh, mama. This is going to be some good stuff. About halfway through my deluxe burger, I got the El Diablo. It's everything, and I'm so happy to be back here. Also, fun tip, if you use two of you, or even three of you, order a large fries, not like um, regular fries each, because the, part, the portions are quite big, and you won't need them all. I'm sorry to say, deluxe burger beat me. Do you know what I say? After all your shenanigans and carrying on about it, <laughs> exposing Adam Hatton <laughs> for not eating his burger <laughs> in the guts of Adam Hatton by Shane Dawson. Ugh. Gross. Um, um, I mean, I finished most of it. There's just a few bites I couldn't finish, but like, I, I we, we had a discussion about this. I was like, I used to come here like maybe once a week, and I'm, I'm I don't think am I th am I thinner than I was last year? You're thinner, or at least you like to hold the this higher. <laughs> Oh, oh. Gary and I just did a good deed of the... We're making magic moments. <laughs> We're granting wishes out here. <laughs> we went to the end of the line and was like, by the way, do you have the Magic Mirrors out? Like, order the food and then go pick it up. You'll save yourself away. And they were like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> We're like, you know, girl, we're angels. It's always nice to win their Americans because they're always so appreciative. If it was someone British, they'd go, all right, why are you talking to us? <laughs> we're currently in town center. I'm popping into Sephora because there is a face wash I got from here, which is like a, it's like an Amazonian clay. Oh Adam, my God. Adam's it, a beauty guru now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it's revolutionized my skin. It's made me a lot clearer. If you look at the vlogs from last year, my skin was not fantastic. Additionally, I also found out I'm allergic to something in head and shoulder shampoo. So additionally, I don't have spots on my forehead anymore, which is great. It's cold in here. Ooh, girl. This Beautiful. Whole area is Thank you very much. This is it. Hello. Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser. So, uh, as you can tell, like my skin is not the best still. Like I've still got quite a red nose, and like it's it's a work in progress. Um, but the sales assistant that was helping me in here was like, I, I've missed the American service, which is like, I'm here to serve you and everything's amazing. I can, I can do it. What do you want? What's, what's, what's wrong with you? <laughs> um, so she gave me loads of really good advice. I've got some nice products to try. I've had one before. I know that that's helped. So I've got a mask now. I've also got a treatment. Love you, Sephora. So I've got my Kiehl's and my new drop treatment thingy majiggy. I don't really. Sephora Hall! No, I'm not doing that. Um, we're gonna Watching walk down. The we're gonna. Ooh, fountain! Yes. Fountain. Since I've had that burger, I'm very much like, ooh, look at this! Ooh, la! Ooh, let's go in there! Bleh. So the skincare brand I just bought from is called Kiehl's, and I just realized they have a store here. So I walked straight in, I was like, just out of curiosity, uh, did I just buy stuff in Sephora that's more expensive? over there than it is in here. And he was like, no, they're the same price. And I was like, great, <laughs> I can continue with my life. Well, Gary, look, the mothership, Uniqlo. In the process of trying to get into Uniqlo, we accidentally stumbled into uh, Under Armour. Uh, and I got some new gym shorts because they are <laughs> not great for the gym, but great for pajamas for Adam. They're called the Mickey stuff. Ooh, looking fabulous. Oh, <laughs> I thought a mannequin was moving. It's just a child. All right. <laughs> oh, that's some nice stuff. Let's see what the guys got. What? Look at these shoes. <laughs> oh, the boys have got some nice stuff as well. Uniqlo was a success. I bought three new pairs of underwear and a new t-shirt because Turns out, I don't have more than seven pairs worth of underwear. Because when I was back for the holiday, I was like, I don't have enough pants! <laughs> There's a spooky lady over there. Spooky lady, ooh, spooky lady. Poor man. Ooh, spooky. Right, where do you want to go? What did you say? They spent some money. <laughs> I'll tell you what, World of Disney, I am loving your new logo. 
Right, so I've treated myself. Now, Gary C, it's time for you to treat yourself. Treat yourself and then some. Let's sell a kidney or two. <laughs> World of Disney recently got a facelift and a half. Look at this store and how beautiful it is from what it was previously. It's just so much more classy. It fits in with Disney Springs Marketplace a little bit more. It is love like brickwork. Yes, open beams. I'm here for it. I'm enjoying that. It's the day to a Christmas store. I can't come to Disney Springs without going in the Christmas store. Mainly because I want to smell it. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. It makes you want to buy it. I can't smell it. It's there, but it's not as strong as it was. Spend more money, maybe, then I'll feel it. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, the only place I've actually seen Halloween stuff is in the Christmas shop. <laughs> place I've seen Halloween gear. Welcome to Christmas. <laughs> oh, budget lantern photo. Can't do the lantern photo in Magic Kingdom. <laughs> tip for the gram. That was definitely my tip from last year that we didn't post. Oh, we didn't post them? No. Oh, too classy we are. I'm taking the credit for that one. So we're strolling past one of my faves, Raglan Road. If you go inside, you can see Irish dancing and an Irish band. Outside, they also have an Irish band. If you want to come in for the evening and get some Beva Rajas, I do recommend coming there. They've just opened this new place, which I will tell you when the music is not so loud. So this is Wine Bar George. It was being built the last time I was here. They've got a quick service window down the bottom. And I've heard that they have some amazing things called steak fries here, which is like fries with steak on top. So yeah, there's something to try. But that's just around the corner from Raglan Road. Now, I'm not going to buy any sprinkles, but I do need to go over to the ATM just to hear the song for a little bit. If you like Mexican food, I highly recommend coming to Frontera Concina or Cocina. Uh, I came here once, nobody would go with me, so I went by myself and it was one of the best meals I've ever had. All right, we're heading back. We could get the bus. <laughs> but that was my horsey sound. <laughs> that was my horsey sound saying no. Um, just because of the way we're feeling right now, which is not jet lagged, but we're very tired. Like corpses. Like corpses, like walking corpses. We're walking dead. Um, we just decided like, I don't want to go, I don't personally don't want to get to the bus station. I wait there for 20 minutes before a bus comes. I want a headache, I ate, I'm all Disney magic cat, we haven't even touched the park. I want my private air conditioning and a direct route back to my room without people. Hang on a minute. How people? Are you there? This is a new a quick service that's just opened called Chicken Guy. I haven't <laughs> been there yet. Love the name. I do love the name too. Um, it's just under Planet Hollywood. Uh, would like to try it. Are we going to have time this holiday? Probably not. It's quite smoky. Love the smell. Yeah, it's that barbecue. Mm -hmm. And the new Wolfgang Puck is looking like it's about ready to open, which is cool. Oh look, Gary's in a merchandise shop. Surprise, surprise. And once again, got the mini, but they don't have the Mickey. They have the Donald though. They have the Donald. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Uh, well, we're in our merchandise shop. We're having a look around. We are back in the room. And before I go, I've got something exciting to share with you. I've been working on something for the past year and I haven't been able to tell you about it. Now I can tell you about it. I am pleased to announce. Ba -da -ba! I've published a book, or I'm publishing a book rather. I've written a book. Uh, this is 
Dream Guide, an unofficial guide to Walt Disney World, presented by me, written by me, published by me. So, uh, yeah, uh, I did some little booklets, which you might have seen in other vlogs or on my shop, but this is a book. It's a book with tips and tricks and money saving tips. Uh, it's tailored to different family demographics, basically. So if you're like a single adult, and you're coming to Disney for the first time, or maybe you're a family with young children, or maybe like an, uh, a, a more experienced adult couple. This guide should be applicable to everyone, and it's like got icons in there to help you navigate the guide, basically. Link is below if you would like to pre-order, if you choose to. Thank you so much. Um, but we've had a very long day. I'm dead to the world. Gary's dead to the world. I've spent money. Gary has spent... Oh, you bought a pin. One, one, one pin. Uh, and we didn't get our resort mugs this evening because the quick service was very busy because we just realised the parks were closing and everything. So we'll get them tomorrow morning. Uh, or tomorrow night. So until then, we're going to Magic Kingdom tomorrow and you'll be seeing that vlog next week. Or if you're watching this in the future, you can just go ahead and binge. So like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my future stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Gary says goodbye too, but he's indecent. Bye!